A lot of people uh, don't really know what a human study is. And a lot of times when they hear the word, they immediately think of what they know about when it comes to animal studies. And they think, oh my gosh, how terrible that you would um, treat people like we treat our lab animals. The reality is that in a human study, it's actually the only humane way of doing a study. And this is because humans have rights. Um, if you're mistreated, you can, um, you can get legal action and hire someone to represent you where uh, the lab animals can't do that. So the reality is, uh, when it comes to a human study, it really is the best way to go. It is not at all like an animal study. And there are many benefits for doing it. For one thing, um, an animal study is a very, very controlled environment. And this is incredibly unnatural. People are not locked in a confined space and fed the same thing for up to two years. And um, I mean, in general, the parameters can be set any way. But generally speaking, a lab setting is incredibly unnatural. And so that alone um, really isn't a good way of finding out what works well in people maybe with some pharmaceuticals, but when it comes to overall health and wellness and really learning about an organism, it, it is almost uh, the worst way to learn about one because it is so incredibly controlled and no one is going to abide by that in actual practice. The other thing is that animals biologically are not the same as humans. And though we may be very similar, um, for instance, there are many cures of human diseases that are actually deadly in animals. And that's a perfect example of, of how you can easily understand where vice versa would be very dangerous for people. And this happens also. There are plenty of animal studies that are proven, proven safe in the lab and yet in practice um, we start to see malpractice. We start to see um, people coming up with, with extremely bizarre symptoms, very dangerous and sometimes even death. And um, We've all seen those commercials uh, when it comes to attorneys trying to basically take, take everything back, which the reality is you, you can never really undo damage like that. It's so unfortunate when there's a malpractice. When it comes to human study, these are individuals that, um, for example, have a deadly disease that there is no cure for, and so they have nothing to lose. And so they try many different methods to treat it. And the great thing is, is that just like you and I, they are living their lives as normally as they can. And so it's not a lab environment. It's very realistic to what someone would expect when they're getting treatment. Of course, it depends on the disease as far as what they can or cannot do, but at least it's comparable to anyone else with the same thing. So in the end, a human study is, is best for humans because that is what we are. We know it'll work because it's been tested. It also is the most humane method because people have rights and animals don't, unfortunately. And on top of all of this, it's, it really is just the best way forward. You're learning about the organism itself. These are people who are already looking for a cure for themselves, who are testing and pushing boundaries that you just wouldn't get in the lab from an animal. And we're not rats, mice, rabbits, cats, dogs, we're just not any of these animals. We're not these things. We can be similar, but we're not the same. You know, if you have a dog or a cat, there are certain things that are safe for us, but very toxic for them. Perfect example of why animal studies are just not conclusive when it comes to human ailments. Thank you so much, and I hope this was helpful.